cloud or cloud computing are terms you've probably heard a lot. They seem to be banded about everywhere in the IT industry, but these terms are often not well explained, so you can be forgiven if you don't have a fully fledged cloud strategy for your business or organization. So in this video, we hope to give you a clear understanding of cloud technology and how it works. Now, simply put, cloud refers to an IT infrastructure being delivered remotely to the user rather than physically located on their desktop. Now, imagine a typical desk within any workplace. It's probably got a PC or workstation on it. And on that is the office software or graphics applications that you use. These will be installed on that system and be delivered by the power of the processor known as the CPU the memory and the graphics card known as the GPU within it. If we then assume that this is a small team within this workplace, there may be say 10 users in a group of desks, each with a PC or workstation and each workstation with their own CPU, memory and GPU. If you were to now deliver that same group of computers but from the cloud, then all the processing and data would be contained within a single server. The server would have a couple of powerful CPUs, lots more memory and multiple GPU cards too. So this resource can be shared amongst the 10 users. However, the most important part is that this resource is virtualized. Now what we mean when we say virtualized is that although there's only one physical server, it's able to drive multiple virtual machines. But why would we want to do this? Well, if you think again to our 10 systems that we mentioned earlier, only 10 users can use these at any one time. If an operating system update required, then it must be done 10 times. If users require more storage, a drive upgrade must be performed 10 times. Perhaps more importantly, if any user isn't doing graphics work, then the GPU will sit idle, unable to be employed by anyone else. Or at the opposite end of the spectrum, if that user's workload exceeds the GPU power they've got installed, then their productivity will suffer as they'll wait for their PC to complete tasks. With a virtualized approach, the combined hardware resource of the server is shared between the 10 users, plus any more that may need it. So if one user requires only CPU cores to perform their work, no GPUs wasted on them. If another requires lots of memory and GPU resource, they can have more than one GPU assigned to them for as long as they need it. The key advantage here is the ability to dynamically provision resources amongst the users as their needs and the organization's priorities flex and change. Also, any software updates required only need to be done once and all the users benefit if extra GPUs are added to the servers or the storage is expanded. Indeed, entire servers can be added for scale and productivity and the provisioning and manageability remain just as simple and flexible. Cloud computing does provide many benefits around productivity resource utilization and flexibility. However, it does require constant admin resource and will require a high-speed network to run across. With all that in mind, there are two main ways to deliver cloud computing, normally referred to as private cloud and public cloud. Private cloud is used to describe virtualized server hardware owned and operated by the organization using them. They may be on your premises or hosted in a data center, but you're primarily responsible for them. Public cloud describes server hardware owned, operated and maintained by a third party, where you pay a subscription fee per user to access the cloud service. Put another way, public cloud is a little bit like a Netflix subscription, whilst private cloud is like buying a Blu-ray disc. Now, you may have also heard the term hybrid cloud. This refers to a mixture of both public and private using some on-premise infrastructure to deliver, say, a virtual desktop infrastructure and combining this with a third party offering for, say, secure backup and archiving of data. And finally, it's worth mentioning cloud computing can be used in various ways to address business challenges, but may not be suitable for every organization. So get in touch with the SCAN cloud team to discuss how cloud computing may benefit you. We offer private cloud solutions powered by NVIDIA vGPU, and we also offer public cloud services delivered using virtualized 3XS systems. Mm -hmm.